Hello everyone, and welcome to another Thomas Wooden Railway review. This is a review on another character that is from the pack. This is Nelson, the transport truck or the ballast tractor. I am saying ballast tractor because I remember when I watched the original Kuno the Tank Engine series that Felix Chang made back in 2008, uh, the counterpart of Nelson was referred to as a ballast tractor, so I assume that that may be an accurate name. But he's a transport uh, truck. Uh, he does not come with a trailer, and before you ask, I'm not entirely sure if I will actually make a custom on the trailer. I'm not quite sure how I could make a custom on the trailer, but it would be very important to have such a trailer if I was to do some remakes or some new stories in which Nelson does need to have a trailer to carry around the other uh, construction vehicles around the site. Now, Nelson had first appeared in the episode on site with Thomas. He was just one of the pack members that just suddenly appeared. Uh, we didn't know very much about him when he had first appeared. And what's interesting is that when I first saw the episode, I just figured out from his name on top of uh, his cab that he was named Nelson before the narrator actually referred to him as such. Like, you know, like for the few seconds in between when we first saw the character and when he was actually referred to by name by the narrator, I was not sure if that was his actual name or if it may have been a company name. But as soon as the narrator referred to him as Nelson, that told me it is his actual name. So, Nelson is a black uh, truck. He has the number 10 on his side, which is pretty much... Pretty much if you listed all of the pack members that we know about in numerical order, Nelson would come up on top because uh, any pack members that have any numbers before Nelson, we have not seen because they have not been introduced in the TV series and we don't know anything about pack members 1 through 9. So pretty much the, uh, the pack member with the... Uh, I guess lowest number, but the uh, the number on top would be Nelson. So, pretty much, this is where the numbers start with the pack members, at least with all the pack members that were introduced to us. So, uh, for this model, he does come with uh, six uh, wheels, uh, two in the front, which do not move from side to side at all, and two at the back that do move from side to side. And uh, his, his bed right here, it does move up and down. There's no special uh, button that can uh, move it up and down like that. You just have to move it up with your hand. That's pretty much all that you're going for when it comes to lifting it up with your hand. Now, very interestingly, although he is a transport vehicle, in the episode Percy Helps Out, which, with a name like that, I don't understand why it would be called Percy Helps Out, since it was mostly focused on Nelson, but then again, quite a lot of the titles of the Jack of the Pack episodes uh, hardly have anything to do with the actual plot of the episode. You know, like, the episode just refers to, uh, like, something that happens at the end, since Percy helps out with Nelson at the end of the episode. But it, it, it has very little to do with the actual story of the episode, like with all of the uh, Jack in the Pack episodes. It probably would have made sense to call it Nelson Helps Out or Nelson's Transportation Wish. I'm just saying that if I was deciding on titles for these episodes, I would have chosen something different. And, you know, personally, I would not have called that episode Percy Helps Out. In fact, uh, if I was not paying attention to the titles, and somebody asked me, do you know what happened in the episode Percy Helps Out? 
I would have no idea what episode they were talking about. Even if I actually saw the episode, but did not pay attention to the titles, I would... This would not be my first guess at what that episode would be. Or even one of my top ten guesses. So, yeah, in that episode, Nelson was wishing that he could be carried, just like he carries every other vehicle, and by the end of the episode, he gets his wish, since Percy uh, transports him from the works, where he drops Thomas off, all the way back to the construction site. Nelson was planning on just driving there himself, but Percy came in and carried him back, which was fantastic for Nelson, because for once, he actually got to be carried by another engine, rather than him doing the carrying. And what's interesting is that in the episode, uh, Percy helps out, it pretty much indicated that it was the first time that he was carrying a steam engine. Like, when Thomas had one of his wheels broken off, and Nelson came to tow him to the works, uh, you know, the narrator mentioned that it was the first time that Nelson was carrying an engine. He had never done that before, which was quite interesting. So that's pretty much all I have to say in regards to Nelson. He does have quite a good uh, color scheme, you know, with him being black with red wheels. And overall, he's a pretty impressive character. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again next time.